This is the future of AR, not this. Rokid, our sponsor, came to our office for a world's first exclusive showing off the Rokid AR Lite, which is a combination of these AR glasses and this handheld computer. Now, I know you guys are all familiar with this heavy brick of a battery that comes with the Vision Pro, but this is thinner, it's a lot lighter, and it combines a Snapdragon-powered computer that can run Android application with its own OS, and it also has a touchpad here, which is how you control the operating system, and you have buttons, as well as USB-C pass-through to charge and just the battery in here alone will get you five hours compared to about two to three all in this small device. And get this, this is not the only way to use it. You can actually use it with your Steam Deck or Switch along with all of these Apple devices, an iPhone, an iPad, your MacBook. So for Apple users, Rokid AR Lite is the go-to AR glasses that seamlessly integrate with all Apple products. That's something that I've wanted with the Vision Pro and for 3,500 bucks, you cannot simply plug it in and get it to work you can actually do that. And I'll show you guys all of that in just a little bit. And the exciting news is that the retail price will be over 700, but starting May 27th on Kickstarter, you'll get an amazing discount. This is the lowest price ever, approximately one seventh of the Vision Pro. Make sure to click the link in the description to place your order now. The insane thing is how light these are. These actually weigh 75 grams or 2.65 ounces. That is over eight times lighter than the Apple Vision Pro. And that makes these incredibly uh, lightweight and super comfortable. You guys see you have some adjustment right here. They're using plastic as well as titanium for this to make it super lightweight. I'll go ahead and put these on right here. Now, Vadim tested it out, uh, Ben tested it out, I tested it out a little bit when we started shooting this, and it is crazy the level of comfort difference between using something like this and the Rokid AR Lite. Now, these work differently than something like this. You're using OST, optical see-through technology, instead of VST, which is virtual pass-through, where you have cameras that record an image and they show it up on your display. And because of that, right now, I could see Badim shooting, I could see Ben over there, and I'm not locked into ski goggles. And because of that, I'm not you know, distracted. I have my full peripheral vision and I'm gonna be able to see my virtual experience here. And because of that, your actual field of view is really great. We actually tested out the Vision Pro without this band, and we loved how it worked because I could still see everything, but because it's so heavy and not designed to be used that way, it just really hurts, even though it is a nicer experience. Let's go ahead and turn on the Rokid Station 2. All right, it is on, and these actually have beam forming speakers that are right next to your ears and they make it so that you can hear the sound coming through. It's spatial audio and instead of sending it out to everybody else, so that is really nice. Now another cool thing as this logo loads here is that these have polarization. So people around you, the guys in front of me, they can't actually see it, you have privacy, while you can still see everything else. At the top here, you have built-in diopter, so you can adjust and fine tune it for your vision. And on the side, you have volume buttons and brightness. And this thing hits 600 nits, and it uses Sony micro OLED displays. And because of that, it's nice and sharp. I have about 4K resolution between these lenses, and the contrast is really good. Now, they're also gonna have a cover that you can put on here that will kind of get rid of your background and increase um, contrast even more so. You guys know there's other devices like this, but the screen size in here, it goes, gets up to 300 inches equivalent uh, if you had, for example, a screen in the background. Um, and it also has this anti-jitter um, technology. So instead of being super jittery like I've used in the past, it smooths everything out and it tracks your head. And right now you see I'm moving to the side. It can actually follow me, but also stay in place because of the sensors built into here. And now I am watching a YouTube video in theater mode. The screen is huge. And guys, can you hear any of the audio? 
Uh, no, no, no. No? But I can. <laughs> that is really nice. Now here, you guys can see you have adjustments. You have the sports mode for traveling. If you're on a subway, a train, an airplane, it stabilizes even more. I can exit the theater mode. Now the screen is floating in the air, so that is really cool. And here you have your full UI. You can, you know, right now I'm screen recording, adjust all your settings. You have your 2D apps. So right now I can go ahead, let's open up Edge. And bam, right there, I have two displays side by side. And I can actually go in here and open up another one. And you can have up to three different apps open side by side. So you guys can see I have Edge right here. I have TikTok open right here. And then right over here, I have Chrome open so you can multitask. And then now I can go ahead and I can clear all my windows really quickly. And we also have our different spatial applications. So this right here plays spatial video so you can go out, shoot spatial video on your iPhone and play it on these. You don't need to go and buy a Vision Pro. So let's take a look at one of these examples. Now I have to point out that you guys are seeing a 2D image. What I'm seeing right now has a ton of depth. So I have the flowers close to me. I have uh, that bridge in the distance. I have spatial audio playing back. That is really cool. And I can also go ahead, hit that button right there and go into full screen. Now, another cool thing is you can full on play 3D videos as well. It doesn't have to be spatial. So right now, I wish you guys could see this because you're seeing 2D. These fish are floating like a foot in front of my face and this turtle is literally blowing bubbles right into my face. It is crazy and that is super cool. Now this is also gonna get uh, YouTube and Netflix. The cool thing with using Android is you have so many different applications and you can also sideload any um, Android application. So if you don't have it available, you could just install it without having to wait. So that makes it very flexible. Now, even though the Station 2 is very powerful, we don't have to use it with this. Let's check out how it works with your different Apple products. And it honestly is as easy and seamless as this. You take your USB-C cable, you plug it in. Now, bam, I see this screen, except for way bigger, right in front of me. And the crazy thing is, just to show you guys a reference, it would be like me holding the screen about this big. I'm gonna line that up. But who's gonna hold their phone that close to your eyes? It's not good for you. This uses a different reflection technology. And I see it right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this video sideways. And now I can literally control the audio through my phone and it goes through the speakers here and I have a massive display in front of me. The brightness is really good. The contrast is really good, even without that cover, because this is a prototype version. Um, it is really, really cool. And you don't have to just watch videos on this. You can use your phone. So I can go into Instagram. Now I see that. And you can go into notes or any other app. You have full privacy, a nice large screen. So when you're traveling, if you're uh, waiting somewhere, you can enjoy that large experience simply by plugging it in. You can also turn down your brightness on your phone, set it down. You can even play games, hook up a controller, hook up AirPods to it. If you wanna have uh, full audio being sealed out from the background, and you could be playing looking straight instead of looking down at your phone. Now with that, you could just as easily connect to your Mac. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this into a USB type C port and bam, you guys could see right there, I have a screen that is way bigger than my MacBook screen right directly in front of me. Now this screen right here is staying the same. You can actually change your settings. So I can go in here, I could select which display is the main one, I could set it to mirror. And now let's drag this window into my secondary display. So it literally works just like having a secondary monitor, just much bigger with pure privacy. And once again, it is so bright and the contrast is really good, even with pass-through being able to see what's in front and on the sides. And the cool thing is, 
right now I can go ahead and type and I can perfectly see my keyboard, my trackpad, I can see this display here while seeing the secondary one in front of it. I can scroll right here and this is ultimate productivity. I can do spreadsheets, I can do emails. So if you're traveling, I'm always very uncomfortable on airplanes. If I'm sitting there, especially in the middle seat, people are on the side of you watching what you're doing, I'm editing videos. You can literally just dim this display if you don't wanna use it and have a nice large 32 by nine cinema style screen for entertainment, productivity, whatever you want to do. Now, just like with the Mac, you can go ahead and grab your iPad. I'll grab the magic keyboard here. Let's go ahead and connect this and plug it right in. And bam, I'm connected with a large display in front of me. You guys could see that we're connected. We have audio coming through here. And right now I'm literally set up as two displays that are separate. I have my main one and this one that's much larger above it. And I can just use my cursor to go up. I can go down on here. I can use the keyboard. I could still see everything all around me. If I wanna grab my phone and check something, I actually can do that. Whereas with the Vision Pro, your face ID is not working. It's very blurry close up. That's one of my biggest complaints. And this is what I wanted to do with the Vision Pro, just be able to connect and just stream anything to be able to use it, but you can't. But with the Rokid AR Lite, you can do that. Of course, you can use your stage manager, go through different websites, applications. Let me go ahead and move this one up. So once again, for Apple users, Rokid AR Lite are the go-to AR glasses that seamlessly integrate with all of your Apple products. This is literally like having a 300 inch iMac that is with you, super cool. But now I wanna show you guys how this works with other devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to Vadim. Hey guys, this is Vadim here. I'm here because I like to play some games. I definitely wanna try this out. I'm very excited because this thing right here, the Rokid AR Lite, actually connects to different peripherals like the Nintendo Switch and the Steam Deck. So as you can see, we have it connected here to power and to the AR glasses themselves. So let's go ahead and test this out. All right, well, oh, this is so much better. Like I don't have to like lean down and look at the screen. I could just look straight forward and basically, Oh, whoa, that is so interesting. All right, let's do this. Playing some Mario Kart here, as you can see, on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, this is definitely so much more immersive. Seeing it here, and the micro OLED, super high quality, especially compared to the Switch, which is not the best in terms of display technology. It looks so much better on the Rokid AR Lite. Finish, all right guys. Now I have the Steam Deck. This thing's quite a bit bulkier than the Nintendo Switch, but I have it connected directly to the Rokid AR Lite. And I have this huge display right in front of me right now. And oh, okay, this is really cool. The quality is so nice, so much better than the Steam Deck itself and it's just right in front of my face, this huge display. Very responsive too, like the refresh rate. Very smooth. All right, I'm getting like, oh, he shot me. Come on. One thing I really like about this is that you just look straight, you know? You're looking forward, you got this huge display, you don't have to like lean your head down like this, which can give you some neck strain. And it's just so immersive. And you know what the nice thing about this is? You actually get good games. <laughs> All right guys, so after testing the Rokid AR Lite, I am extremely impressed by the way this works and how it so easily connects to the little proprietary OS developed in-house by Rokid named Yoda OS Master, which runs Rokid's own software and apps. And you can even browse the internet through Rokid's proprietary browser and even package web pages into web apps to add to your app list. And it also connects to so many Apple devices, your iPhone, 
your iPad, your Mac, you can stream, you can play games, you're gonna have triple display support. And I love how you still have your optical see-through technology so you can kind of have your peripheral vision all the time so you're always aware. And of course, the best part is that the retail price will be over $700. However, starting on May 27th on Kickstarter, there will be an exciting discount offering the lowest price ever. Make sure to click the link in the description to check it out and place your order now. So much better than the pricing for the Vision Pro, and you can connect it to so many devices, including the Nintendo Switch and the Steam Deck, playing the games that you actually want to play with a big, really nice screen, micro OLED right in front of you with spatial audio beamforming down. This is just such a great device, so definitely check it out and use the link in the description below to go to that Kickstarter. I think this is a really awesome product. Thank you, Rokid, for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know down in the comment section below and click above to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.